We take the revenue raisers, 50% go to a health care shortfall fund, 50% go to an education increase. Education has a growth cap. The growth cap this year is 1.5%. Uh, we would propose actually doubling the growth cap to 3%, which is $769 million for education. Uh, we have increased education more than any area in state government, period. You and the debt that's owed to our poor black and brown neighborhoods. That right. major education happens every year. Okay. You're not in computing in the 4.2 billion. For All right, let's, you let's, let's talk about it after this. Oh, yes. And you should okay. also okay. tax the millionaires. Okay. You gotta have a capital gains tax. This ain't working. All right. This is not working. Well, why don't you if listen we to him first? Well, how about that I as a suggestion, to How about you listen to him first, and then you say it's not working? Okay? How about that? Okay. Okay. How about that? Okay. 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 Education increase over the years is not going to be $6 billion. Every year. It's not enough yeah. to pay this. It's money. never enough. $26 billion. I ain't it's hearing. a 35% increase. Since 2012, 6.8 billion dollars. On top of that, pay the, the debt. sound basic pay education the debt. formula, the sound basic education formula that says we should get more funding to poorer schools. Uh, this has our distribution formula would have 70 percent going to the poorest districts, which is the highest number ever. And we should even take it a step further. It's not enough to give funding to the poor district. You have to make sure the money goes to the poorer schools in the poorer districts. And right now, we have no idea where the money is going. So uh, yeah, that's great. We have a formula. We direct it to the poorer district. But what does Buffalo do with it? What does New York City do with it? And we should mandate that they have a formula that also mirrors our formula, sending the money to the poorest schools. Community budget, community schools, a $50 million increase for high need school districts transformation. Non-public schools get the same increase that public schools get, which is 3%. Uh, we continue this $60 million uh, cap program from last year and a $5 million reimbursement for STEM. Full day pre-K goes up $15 million. Uh, after school budget would go up $10 million, which would be another 6,000 slots. Charter schools, we changed the law last year where we linked charters to public school increases. Public schools go up 3%, charters would go up 3%. Excelsior scholarship, we would take to phase two. The child care funding would go up uh, to a record high of $800 million. Health care.